Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated early voting map for you today. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. All right, we're going to fill in that map with the states of the candidates that we already are going to know win those states. Blue is for Kamala Harris and red is for Donald J. Trump. We have Washington, Oregon, and California. Hawaii are all blue for Kamala Harris. Our first red state is going to be Alaska. We also have Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and Utah are all red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, according to NBC's early voting, it has a slight lead for Donald J. Trump, making it three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, he's got a .3 average lead over her, which is not by much. A lot of people criticize us for that. Arizona, he's got a .6 lead as of right now, but NBC updates their election map every day, so by the time you watch this video, it may be different. So it's three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. He might possibly win it. He did have a mega lead for the last two weeks, but NBC.com's pollsters have now said that it's going down the average point lead between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Then we've got Colorado and New Mexico are both blue for Kamala Harris. Going back to red, we have North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, and Nebraska's second district are both red for Donald J. Trump, with the third district of Nebraska, or uh, sorry, second district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Then we go back to red, we got Kansas. Oklahoma and Texas are red for Donald J. Trump, but Texas is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. It's slowly shifting. It might go heavy red or it might shift to blue because of all the California and New York transfers to the state trying to escape from the tyranny in their states. We got Minnesota, which is also two clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. We know why they have a lead in Minnesota, but Minnesota has been blue for quite a while. Uh, we have Wisconsin, and according to NBC.com's early voting polls, we, uh, Wisconsin has a .2 lead for Donald J. Trump in the early voting, making Wisconsin red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan with 15 electoral votes. We have the early voting is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Uh, Wisconsin's two clicks for uh, Donald J. Trump. It's leaning right, but it usually uh, is whoever wins Wisconsin has won the last uh, two election cycles. So then we get to Iowa. It's red. Missouri's red. Arkansas is red. Louisiana's red. Illinois is blue for Kamala Harris. We got Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida are all red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance's Hillbilly Eulogy. But according to NBC.com's early polling, Trump is winning Georgia with a .4 lead, making it three clicks red for Donald J. Trump. It leans Republican. It might shift back to a Republican state. Who knows? Joe Biden won it in 2020 somehow. Uh, leaky toilet, but they said it was a flood and the vote counter and the machines were on the fritz. Turns out it was an overflowed toilet. And so they sent all the Republican counters home while well, the Democrats stayed and pulled out ballots full of boxes uh, bouts full of votes um, underneath a table. Sorry, I got a sore throat. I can't really think straight. They pulled out suitcases or bins full of ballots, all for Joe Biden magically somehow. Um, South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red. Then we got North Carolina, according to NBC.com's early polling. Trump is winning North Carolina with a .5 lead over Kamala Harris. He's towed between .1 0.4 and 0.5 for the last month in North Carolina. So we're going to give it three clicks red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance's Hillbilly Eulogy. Then Virginia with 13 electoral votes, according to NBC.com's early voting poll, is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. The state could shift to the right, but I don't believe it will this election cycle. It's possible, but they have a greater percentage of early voters in Virginia this year than they did in 2020. Pennsylvania, however is going to be purple. It's going to stay gray as a toss-up state um, because any candidate could win this one at this point, Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump. If you are in the electrical energy producing or fuel producing field in Pennsylvania, anything that has to do with power and coal, fossil fuels, things like that, you should vote for Donald J. Trump because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have both said they want to ban fracking several times, but when it gets brought up in interviews, they deny it. Um, so we have next up is New York is blue. 
We've got New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Um, I am doing this with a very, very sore throat yesterday and today. If you appreciate me doing this with a sore throat, please hit the subscribe button, like, and share. Leave a comment. Tell us who you want to win and why. We have Maine ME itself is red. And the other two districts, 01 and Maine at large, are blue for Kamala Harris. And Nebraska at large, AL2, is red for Donald J. Trump. With Pennsylvania being the only one not colored in on this map, according to early polling on NBC.com. Um, the states that don't do early voting are colored in, according to NBC.com, because... They have, when you can't early vote in a state, they take the registered voters of each party. And that's how NBC.com fills in the states that don't do early voting. Because we had people say, how do you have early voting for this state like Georgia and one of our other ones before early voting started? They go based on how many registered voters of each party are there. Democrat, Republican, and Independent. That's why some of these are filled in that don't have early voting. That would put the big leader at Donald J. Trump, 278 to Kamala Harris's 241 with the 19 toss-up for Pennsylvania. Now, if Kamala Harris did win Pennsylvania, here's what her numbers would be, ladies and gentlemen, because I know you're all curious. She would have 260 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 278. But if Pennsylvania flipped red, how many would Donald J. Trump win with? 297 to 241. That makes Donald J. Trump our early voting victor According to NBC.com's early voting polls, I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.